Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to Fairy Park. And yeah, we're going to be having a lot of fun. So you want to see it? <coughs> That's the castle for now. And later we'll be going a long way. So did you like it? We're going to be walking a lot today. So yeah, Brothers Grimm. The Brothers Grimm were German academics and cultural researchers who collected the old book tales. And can you do it to the statue? And published. And published several of collections of fairy tales called Grimms Grimms Fairy Tales They are um, among the best known storytellers of European folk tales and their work popularized popularized many of the stories you will see here today yeah, yes. guys. These guys created. These are the Jacob and William. Um, brother Grimm, Jacob that one, and William Wilhelm that one. So yeah. Hear that? It's a music. So that's why we're going all over. This is the happy, happy nose. See? Say hi. Hi, gnomes. Okay, have to go now. See you later. Now look. Gnomes are happy. Hello, and welcome to the famous fairy park. Adventures and timeless stories await you. Walk the magical paths to find your favorite fairy tales, legendary creatures, and other fun surprises. Push the buttons to hear and see the stories come to life. Discover the Little Mermaid, Pinocchio, Snow White, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and many more of your favorite characters. Take Hello, lots fairy. of pictures and don't forget your map. Oh, yeah. Have a wonderful time at the Fairy Park. Hello and welcome to the famous fairy park. Still. Adventures and timeless stories await you. Hi. Walk the magical paths Hi. to find your favorite fairy tales, Hi. legendary creatures, and Hi. other fun surprises. Push the waterfall. And look, guys, there's a waterfall inside the fairy park. <gasps> there's a witch. We need to stay careful about her magic. There's a witch! You need to stay here. Stay, like, not near her. Just so she doesn't put a spell on this guy. And look, there's a frog! And more frogs swing. Yeah. On the field. Feel me. It's cold. Can you drink? No. You do have a drink. Yeah, so much. Land there once lived a princess called Snow White. 
She lived with a wicked queen who spent most of her time gazing into a magic mirror. One day, the mirror told the queen that Snow White was the most beautiful person in the land. The queen was furious with jealousy. She ordered yeah? that Snow White be taken into the forest and be done away with. Luckily, Snow White escaped. She ran and ran until she came to a tiny little house in a beautiful valley in the forest. The house belonged to a group of gold miners, the Seven Dwarfs. When the Seven Dwarfs returned from the mine, they were so dazzled by Snow White's beauty, charm and kindness that they invited her to stay. Snow White was delighted. Each day when the miners went to work, Snow White delighted in keeping the little house clean and tidy. She loved to prepare meals for the hard-working, kind dwarfs. She was never lonely, as she had so many animals and friends in the forest to keep her company and to sing to. She had never been so happy. Oh, there's another one, guys. Snow White had been living happily in the forest with her fine friends, the seven dwarves. Until one day, the wicked queen so was told by the magic guys. mirror that Snow White was the most beautiful woman in the land, alive and living in a tiny house in the forest. She was furious. While the seven dwarves were away at the mine, the Bye. queen, dressed in the disguise of an old woman, took a poison to the school it is castle on the edge of the forest. Hey guys, look. They placed Snow White in a glass case with hope that one day she would wake up. In the spring, a handsome prince rode up to the house. He was astonished at how beautiful Snow White looked in her glass case. As the sad dwarves removed the glass cover, a piece of poisonous apple fell from Snow White's lips. The prince kissed her, and miraculously, Snow White's eyes fluttered open. She smiled and was well again. When the dwarves told Snow White that the evil queen had died, she was so happy that the dwarves insisted on throwing a party to celebrate. <laughs> Later that day, the prince and Snow White were married and lived happily ever after in his castle on the edge of the forest. Guys, look, there's some little tiny fairies on there. And look, there's a Pegasus. Once there was a poor miller who had a very beautiful daughter. One day he went to the king's court and claimed that his daughter could spin straw into gold. The king ordered the miller's daughter to come to the palace. He took her to a room full of straw and said to her, you must spin all this straw into gold tonight, or you shall die. 
the miller's daughter was locked in a room alone. She did not know what to do and began to cry. Suddenly, a dwarf came out of nowhere and asked her, Why are you crying? When she told him the story, he said, Don't worry, I will spin the straw into gold, but what will you give me in return? I will give you my necklace. She promised. The dwarf spun all the straw into gold. The next day, when the king saw this, he was astonished and pleased. He became greedier. He took the girl to a bigger room and said, Spin all this straw into gold or you shall die. She was locked inside again, and once again she began to cry. The tiny man came into the room once more and said, If I spin all the straw into gold, what will you give me this time? She gave him her gold ring, and he sat through the night and spun all the straw into gold. Okay, next one. Guys, do you think that King's greedy? He just likes Cinderella. Yeah, now we have Cinderella, guys. Yeah, hold it still. Yeah. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl named Cinderella. She lived with her wicked stepmother and two stepsisters. They treated Cinderella very badly. One day, they were invited for a grand ball in the king's palace. But Cinderella's stepmother would not let her go. Cinderella was made to sew new party gowns for her stepmother and stepsisters and curl their hair. The then they went to the ball, leaving Cinderella all alone at home. Cinderella felt very sad and began to cry. Suddenly, a fairy godmother appeared and said, Don't cry, Cinderella. I will send you to the ball. But Cinderella was sad. She said, I don't have a gown. Cinderella's old clothes into a beautiful new gown. One morning, while waiting for their 
porridge to cool, the three bears decided to go for a walk. Don't go too fast. While they were out, a little girl called Goldilocks knocked on the door of their home. Goldilocks was lost, tired, hey. and hungry. And hey. although she should have known better, she let herself into the house and gobbled down Baby Bear's porridge. Then she sat on Baby Bear's chair and broke it. Accidentally, of course. After that, she was so tired and upset that she fell asleep on Baby Bear's bed. When the three bears came home, they could see that someone had been in their house. She's stretching, ready to go to sleep. That's what she's doing. Oh, she's stretching to wake up. Come on, y'all. I'm never stretched like that. I'm like... It's the same. Once upon a time, in a meadow, lived Thumbelina, a tiny and kind-hearted girl. She was tiny because she was born from a special flower, which was enchanted by the magic of the meadow. One day, a wicked toad and her toadish son tried to make her marry, but Thumbelina escaped. She befriended a swallow and nursed its injured wing. On her journey, she found an old shoe where a wise mole and a warm-hearted field mouse were. Once upon a time, there was a widow and her son, Jack. They were very poor and lived alone with their cow named Milky White, who produced milk, which they sold every day at the market. One morning, Milky White stopped making milk and the boy and his mother could no longer make money from selling it at the market. What shall we do? The widow cried. We'll have to sell Milky White and use the money to set up a new business. Okay, mother, said Jack. I'll take her to the market today and sell her for a good price. You'll see. On his way to the market, Jack met a strange old man who asked him where he was going with that cow. I'm off to sell this cow at market. My mother and I need the money to set up a new business so we can make money to pay our bills. Well, I would buy your cattle from you, the man said. I have five magic beans which will grow overnight into an enormous tree that reaches up past the clouds. With the promise from the strange old man, Jack handed over the cow and took the five magic beans. He raced home to his mother to share the good news. at the top of the hill. We'll get there. It's a little Red Riding Hood. Dad, you go on the other side. Go back in. Day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said to her, Take this basket of goodies to your grandma's cottage, but don't talk to strangers on the way. 
Promising not to, Little Red Riding Hood skipped off. On her way, she met the big bad wolf, who asked, Where are you going, little girl? To my grandma's, Mr. Wolf, she answered. The big bad wolf thought to himself, Hmm, if I get to grandma's cottage first, I can have Little Red Riding Hood for dinner myself. The wolf took a shortcut through the forest and tricked hey. grandma into opening the door. If you don't keep quiet, I'll trouble you up, he said and then locked Grandma in the cupboard, put on her nightgown, and jumped into the bed. One little troublemaker. <laughs> little red riding hood house. Okay, let's go to the next one. Up the hill. Oh, mermaid. Mermaid. Who says that my dreams have to stay just dreams? Exactly. Live your best life. This one. Yeah, push the button. Oh, he's making swords for the blacksmith. <laughs> Safe for you. Safe Look, it's a fairy castle in a fairy tree. Yeah. Look at all the stairs, all the way around it. Just the right size for a fairy. Maybe Tinkerbell and her friends live there. And there's the other castle at the top of the hill. Yeah, so guys, what? There's that The fairy door. Yeah, that fairy wow. door. Magic car. It's all the way up there. Get down, please. Get down, please. So, let's go up, 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 there, and then go 
around, up, 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 and then go to the castle. Sit down, baby. Yeah, okay. All you need is faith, trust, and a little bit of pixie dust. Once upon a time, there lived a woodcutter, his wife and two children, Hansel and Gretel. They were farmers who lived off the land, and one day their stocks were so low that they were unable to feed all four members of the family. The mother made a difficult decision. We don't have enough food for all of us to eat. Early tomorrow morning, we will take the children into the forest, light them a fire, and leave them with one piece of bread. Better that we are rid of them and we can survive than all four of us starve to death. The parents didn't realise, but the children were so hungry, they couldn't sleep and couldn't hear their parents talking. Gretel wept, but her brother Hansel consoled her. Do not fear, sister. I'll find a way to save us both. The next morning, Hansel and Gretel's parents gave them one piece of bread each and walked them out to the forest, telling them they were going to chop wood for the fire. On their walk, Hansel broke up the bread into crumbs and left a trail on the ground so that he could find his way home. When they arrived, the mother said, Now, you rest here while we go and chop wood. We'll come back to get you soon. But they never returned. Don't worry, Gretel, said Hansel. They started walking. It's the witch's uh, cauldron. Poison. See the spiders? Spiders. Who's that on the side of the castle? Is it Rapunzel? There it is. Someone's climbing up Rapunzel's hair. Who is. Here, you walk around. Beauty. Wow, Sleeping Beauty's got her own castle. That's Once pretty upon a awesome. Time, there was a king and a queen who desperately mm -hmm. wanted a child, but could not have one. Do it, but instead, 
into Kai's heart, turning him cold and distant. With a flick of her icy hand, the Snow Queen, a truly beautiful ruler of ice and snow, spirits him away on a sled to her icy palace far, far away. Heartbroken, but determined, Gerda embarks on a grand adventure to rescue Kai. Her unwavering love for Kai's friendship keeps her going through every challenge. Years pass. And finally, she reaches the icy palace and stands before the Snow Queen. The Queen, wielding her magic mirror, attempts to enslave Gerda. But Gerda, quick as a flash, produces her own mirror, deflecting the spell back at the Snow Queen. In an instant, the Queen transforms into a frozen statue. All her wicked spells shattered. The shard in Kai's heart melts away, freeing him from the Queen's icy grip. Laughter crackled like sunshine as Gerda and Kai skipped home. Spring clinging to their heels, one brave heart, one frozen queen. Winter knew no match for friendship's warm being. Oh, look, it's a 3D picture. Touch it. See? It's a 3D picture. Amazing. Ready? Yeah. Push the button of Alice. Oh, it's Alice a tea is party. With her sisters outdoors when she That's spies the a rat rabbit rabbit tea party. The, watch. the rabbit calls out, I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Fascinated by the sight, she followed the rabbit down the hole. She falls and falls for a long, long time and finds herself in a long hallway full of doors. There was also a key on the table, which unlocked a tiny door. Through this door, she spies a beautiful garden. She longed to get there, but the right, door was one. too small. Soon she finds a drink with a note that says, Drink! Alice takes a sip of the drink and immediately starts to shrink. She becomes so tiny, she can fit through the little door. She walked into the garden and came across a strange caterpillar sitting on a mushroom. He gave her some valuable advice. Eat the side of this mushroom and you will grow back to your original size. She takes a bite and she grows and grows. Amazing. <clears throat> you know what this is called? This is called animatronics. So it's not animation like cartoons, this is where things move. And all of the Maya windows, they all used to be like this. There used to be things moving they around. They still have that. Yeah. Well, this basically, this whole place is just like the Maya windows every year. And it's kind of like Wicked Makers, how yeah. they do the animatronics. Yeah. Oh, wow. Which one are you going to be, a princess or a knight? Is there a step? No, because you're too short for the princess. There you go. This is what it started as. Once upon a time, here you go. <laughs> the land far, far away. Peter and Mary. No, Peter and Elizabeth Meyer, with their son Hubert, imagined it. 1956 they started. Look, that's what it was. 1956. Just rocks. Nothing but rock. And then they started building. Look, all the old cars. They started building the first building. And then they built 1960s. Here you go. They built the first castle. Dragon. There you go. This is the founder, Peter. Dragon. That's Peter. Oh, look, he looks. Does that look the same? A little bit. It's the first dragon. What year is that? Peter and Elizabeth, 1960. What about the cake? Oh, castle in 1970. Wow. There you go. Easter egg. Yeah. Easter egg in the 70s. Cinderella, happy gnomes. Today, animated. Today. Fully animated. It means you push the button and things move. Today. 
Oh, okay. You see, uh, they've got the lid on the car, on the... Yeah, um, but now we didn't have it. No, they didn't have the lid on, did they? They took the lid off. Maybe someone broke it. The lid. See, now she sits up. 1969, 1994, now she sits up. Wow. Uh, read it. Coming of age, 1980s. Wow, five one. half a million pavers laid by four people. Four people made all the paths. Wow, that would have taken them ages. Camelot's playground. It's this one. That's where we go at the end. There you go. Cars. Look. Look. This is 1990s. Look, Castle on the Hill. Isn't that a song? <laughs> it is uh, Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Ed Sheeran, Castle on the Hill. Yeah. There you go. Electric cars, 1990. They don't have that anymore. <laughs> you can't have everything. Oh look, Jack and the Beanstalk. There used to be a giant at the top of the beanstalk. It's not there today. Maybe the giant fell down in the wind. It's like it on the there you go, Castle Cafe. Goba. Yeah, well, there you go. Gulliver. Gulliver. Gulliver's Travels. It's a movie. Well, it's a book, actually. It's a movie. Guys, did you see that? We literally just finished. Now we're going to play on the playground. Now we're going to go play on the playground. Too close. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll see you. Guys, I'm just gonna go down this big slide when I can. Okay, sure. Wow, I'm really happy. That was cool. Come on, let's go down the slide together. Ready? Three. I did it. Bye. Hi guys. I'm gonna just do this little spinny thing. If you if you're dizzy, just yeah, don't watch. It's like it's like this. That's okay with you. I'm just gonna give you a little tour of me. Yeah, so my name is Amelia Tate and I'm eight years old. Yeah, I'm in grade three and I really, really... I'm a dog. Daddy. That's my Mimi. Daddy. She's a dog. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. What? <laughs> Shut up. What? Shut up. Shut up. Are you kidding me? Shut up. Kidding you. Yeah, shut up. No. Yeah, shut up. No. <laughs> no. Shut up. <laughs>